Hello everybody, my name is Matt and here we're going to be talking about diphenhydramine overdoses. There's a new challenge today that the youth are participating in and it's a it's the Benadryl TikTok challenge. Just like the Tide Pod challenge, this is going to cause an increase in patients requiring emergent treatments. Now let's get into exactly what Benadryl is because we need to know this in the mode of action before we can actually treat this. So what exactly is Benadryl? Benadryl is an H1 histamine 1 receptor antagonist and is normally dosed at about 1 milligram per kilogram for a max dose of about 50 milligrams. That's normally what we would give in our normal patients when we administer it. A uh, fatal dose usually occurs in patients who consume about 20 to 40 milligrams per kilogram and its half-life is about one to four hours. This is the most popular antihistamine medication on the market right now. We should all be very familiar with this medication because we give it all the time for allergic reactions to anaphylactic patients. One important note is that in high dosages, Benadryl can actually act as a sodium channel blocker. So you get a patient and you need to know what exactly are the symptoms of a Benadryl overdose. Here you can see a variety of symptoms. You can have your patients can have red dry skin along with some hyperthermia so they can be really hot to the touch. They can start hallucinating and become slightly combative. You see these patients can also have some seizures, experience hyper or hypotension, and experience some rhabdo. Now if you remember my hyperkalemia video, you'll remember that Hyper-K loves an acidotic environment and Benadryl gives you that environment. You can also get diphenhydramine induced renal disease, which can also throw off your electrolytes. So just be cognizant of that. Now we can get into what the TikTok challenge is. Not much to say here, but remember when I said that taking too much Benadryl can cause you to hallucinate? Well, that's exactly what people are doing in this challenge. They're seeing a bunch of videos of people on TikTok taking a bunch of Benadryl and then hallucinating. They're taking it because the hallucinogenic effect and just to get really high off of it. A quick Google search pulls up this image that I have below here showing that teens are overdosing and dying of this throughout the country. So how would we actually treat our patients when we come in contact with a teenager or another patient who has overdosed on Benadryl? As with any other patient that we come encounter with, any critical patient, we need to remember that the ABCs are imperative. You must be able to manage these perfectly, intubate them, do everything you can to just manage their ABCs. It's the basics of all med medicine. So most of the treatments for Benadryl overdoses is actually going to be your supportive care, ABCs. Obviously, you're going to give some benzodiazepines for your seizures and treat hypotension with fluids, and you can even tack on some pressors if you need to. This kind of overdose can prolong your QT. So when you do a 12 lead, look for a QTC over 500, which can obviously be very bad and can lead to torsades de pointes or TDP. So if they go into TDP, remember just give some mag. If you don't know if they have a lot, if you didn't get a 12 lead beforehand and they're in a polymorphic VTAC, shock it a couple times, defibrillate them, and if they, they're just not getting out of it, then you can start thinking about make, giving your mag then. Because remember, you can only diagnose torsades if you had a 12 lead prior to them going into it and the QTC was over 500 milliseconds. If you remember a few slides ago, I mentioned that Benadryl can act as a sodium channel blocker at high dosages, which means it can act similarly to a TCA overdose, right? How would you actually treat a TCA overdose? You would hit them with some bicarb, right? Just hit them with it. Some interesting treatments include doing lipid emulsion therapy and giving them phasostigmine. There is actually some debate about giving this medication because it can have some really nasty side effects. So some studies suggest that the best treatment should be your supportive measures, ABCs, and lots of bicarb and hypertonic sal uh, saline. Phasostigmine is usually used for their tachycardia and some kind of agitation or their delirium. But the issue with this is that you need to make sure it's not a TC overdose. And it's hard to do that unless you find a bottle of Benadryl in their hands and it's a known overdose on this. And like I said, it can produce seizures and some other really nasty side effects. So using this medication is probably not your best bet. Like I said, the ABCs using your benzos, fluids and pressors for hypotension, and obviously your bicarb is going to be your number one way to go. In this 12 video, you can see taken from the study below here, shows a Benadryl overdose. You see a wide complex tachycardia. Now if you remember from my lecture on TCA overdoses, you need to look up at AVR because AVR is key. You, normally when we do a 12 lead, it basically means you're doing an 11 lead because we always neglect AVR, right? AVR is gonna be key in actually diagnosing these patients. Got a wide complex, 
tachycardia, like I said before, and then you see that prominent R wave in AVR. This also shows up in TCA overdoses as well, and this suggests some kind of sodium uh, blocker toxicity, and this should help you narrow down your diagnosis. Now for a little bit of recap. So what is the number one thing we need to remember with any patient, regardless of Benadryl overdoses or the dumb TikTok challenge? You must manage their ABCs. You need to be a pro at this. Next, take a thorough history. Ask some questions, figure out what's going on. Don't jump the gun and freak out and all that stuff. You need to be professional, slow, and methodical. Next, obtain a 12 lead. A 12 lead is one of the cheapest and the, one of the most important pieces of technology we can have our utility belt. If you're able to see a wide complex tachycardia with a prominent R wave and AVR, think some kind of sodium channel toxicity. And what do we do with these patients? You just slam them with some bicarb. The QRS complex should honestly just narrow right before your eyes. If they start doing the shaky shakes, slam with a benzo. They're agitated, benzos. They go into torsades due to long QT, get in with your magnesium. Medicine is all about baby steps, people. Always keep learning because medicine constantly changes. Hopefully you don't have to actually come in contact with a Benadryl overdose because this challenge is coming through. But if you do, try to remember these, your ABCs, your sodium bicarb, your supportive measures, and, and always treat this patient to the best of your abilities. And just keep lipid emulsion therapy on the back of your brain. There's not a lot of studies on it, but the studies that have come out about using it for any kind of toxicity has shown really good results. So just keep that on the back of your brain. If your hospital does have that, that's awesome maybe try it. But like I said, ABCs and bicarb and your fluids are going to be the best way to treat these. Like I said, my name is Matt and I hope you guys enjoy this lecture.